Hey everybody, Hackyrus here. Welcome to the Long Dark. A year in the dark. And uh, we're going to continue. I was going to stay at the camp office, but you know what? I think I'm just to avoid the risk of cabin, cabin fever and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful night. I think I might just uh, head on over here to the uh, fishing hut and stay the night here. Now I do want to head on over to Fort Long Muskeg in the morning. I probably should go for it now. Honestly, I'd go for Jeremiah's. Uh, go for Jeremiah's. Uh, man, I don't know. I'm really tempted. Maybe go for Jeremiah's uh, cash. But I think the safe play is rather than push it too much. I'm just going to go over here and sleep here for the night. And then we can head over there. And eventually make it to the uh, to that like train workshop or mechanic area. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it's called. I keep forgetting. But it's beyond for Long Muskeg. On down the tracks. So we're going to go for the uh, fishing hut with the door, of course. Even though the, the temperature's not too bad right now, but it could get worse. We have a couple pieces of coal if we need to boost our heat level a little bit. You know, into the triple digits, we should be fine. But uh, wow, what a, what a beautiful day for a walkabout. This is gorgeous. And we have some fish down here, too. I completely forgot about. Left that behind. A lot of fish, actually. How are these doing? Yeah, they're doing good. We could actually cook some of these up. They're in good shape. Yeah, they're in wonderful shape, actually. Let's get inside here. See how much warmer it gets. Yeah, ten, ten more degrees, it looks like. We got a lot of water here, so... Yeah, it's nicely stocked, actually. So, let's just go ahead and... Lay out our bed here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe do a little fishing. Maybe a little cooking. I don't know. We got this here. Zero. We can eat that though if we need to. Obviously. Um, let me see. I already ate the uh, piece of uh, wolf meat I was carrying. I think it was wolf meat. I already ate that, so I have some calories on board right now. Um, I could honestly, I could use a little bit of. Uh, I don't really want to just pass time. Might as well just do some fishing, I guess. We do have fishing line. Let me double check before I cut a hole here. Hmm. Where's it here? And I don't have any. F I don't have any. F uh, I left. Oh yeah, I do. I got one fishing tackle. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do a little bit of more fishing here, just to kill time. Otherwise, I'd be uh, honestly, I'd just be passing time. I don't have any books to read. At this point, we could step out there and use the uh, use the light there for that, but uh, I think we'll just do a three hours here. See how lucky we get. One, that's a huge one. Fifteen hundred calories. It's a ten pound, ten pound uh, bass right there. Another, that's an eight pound bass. Nice. Four pound white fish. Almost five pound actually. That's a more of a four pounder. Wow, fishing is the Starting way to go. To weigh me down. That's a small bass. A small, small mouth. Alright, let's go ahead and drop these out here real quick. That's a lot of fish. Very good. Still at 100%. I guess it's all or nothing for those fishing tackles. Let's head on back in. We starting to get a little tired? A little bit, a little bit. We don't have that much to sleep anyway. Um, and we don't have to recover any condition, so we should be all right. So, let's see here. I do want to offload a lot of this before I head off. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some sharpening while we're waiting also. 5% per sharpen. So let's do that. Kill a little bit more time that way. How long does that take? Six minutes per sharpen? Okay. We are in very good shape here.
I almost think it's a good idea just to hang out here for a while and eat up all this fish that we have laying around. There's really no need to rush off. Um, I do want to go explore, but we can come back and that fish will still be in plenty good shape to uh, eat, so I'm not worried about losing the fish. But uh, what I'm saying is after four long muskeg and doing that little uh, uh, adventure, come back here and settle in here at Mystery Lake for, you know, a few weeks or so until we go through all the fish. And then head back to Coastal. Probably for the duration at that point. Maybe two more times here. You know, the whetstone's starting to get a little weak. That's okay. Now I'll switch over to the knife. Go back here and we'll sharpen this knife up just a little bit. We'll probably find some knives on the road, but that's okay. We'll get two, sh two sharpenings out of this one. There's one. And one more. And then I'll get rid of our whetstone. I need anything right about now. But we have a nice nice sharp knife and a nice sharp uh, uh, hatchet as well. So we're in pretty good shape. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a few hours of sleep. Now that I have worn myself down and it is starting to get a little bit late. Uh, we will need to eat a little something here off the deck. It's about perfect. 600 calories would be fine. Let's go ahead and eat that. There we go. It doesn't look as nice as it did when we came in here. Looking a little nasty out there. Hopefully that clears up. And I'll grab one of these water bottles. There we go. Have a little something to drink there. And let's get... Uh, I don't want to sleep too long in this weather, so I'm just going to two, two hours at a time. Let me double check here. 48 degrees, so it did cool off a little bit. I'm just being careful. I'm going to sleep two hours at a time. Take a look here at the temperature. Survive 118 days, 17 hours, 40 minutes. 41 minutes. So it's 44 degrees now. Try again. Forty, yeah, forty-one. Sun's starting to come up. It's the music. Ah, there it is. And is it clearing up, or is it look? It's a little foggy, but not too bad. It's not. It's not the super dangerous, soupy fog. It's just a little bit of morning fog as well. Sleep for another two hours. I think that'll top us off as far as rest goes. Then we'll go offload everything we don't want to carry around with us in the cabin. I'm being a little paranoid about the uh, cabin fever. But, uh, and the wolves are out finally. There might be one around here somewhere. we got a deer over here. Hey, do I need to carry anything from here? I don't think so. We'll leave the fish there. They're good for now. I'm not carrying anything. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't have anything. Little bits of fish left over that I'm going to be pulling wolves with. Okay. All right. Let's head back here, get organized, and then set off. We're going to go for that forge. Maybe make another stash of uh, arrowheads. I think we're pretty good on arrowheads, but I mean, plus the bullets that we have, we're, we're definitely not hurting. What's the temperature anyway? 45? Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. I do hope this burns off in the next hour or so. Hopefully by the time we get our inventory sorted out here be ready to jump off. You know, I'm kind of thinking that this 
update will not be disruptive as far as save games goes because that would mess up everybody's progress with their uh, um, story mode, right? If they'd Never already so done the first two life. chapters, um, if this messed up everything and they lost all their save games, they'd have to like basically redo the first two chapters unless they just started them off, like gave them credit for the first two chapters and just sort of started them off with a blanket inventory, like a standard inventory across the board. Um, I don't think they're going to do that. So I th I'm hoping this, this update, this big update with the new area and the new cooking feature will uh, work well <laughs> with our save game. I'm hoping. If not, it was fun. But uh, fingers crossed. Okay, what am I doing? I don't need to sleep. I don't think I need anything here, really. Yeah, I think we're good. Wait a minute. Now, if I have something go bad in here, it does disappear. I should technically take this stuff out and lay it down so it doesn't disappear. Right? So anything that's on the verge of going bad, I should take it out and set it on the table or on the floor. It doesn't go bad. This won't degrade. I don't think it does. These are 50%, so I'm not too worried about those. But those other two, I can't. I'm going to drop that. Let me get rid of that. I wish I could just destroy it or have it have it actually disappear. Drop that. A whetstone. Just drop that. We don't need that. That'll be decoration now. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Where's that food at? That's sort of sketchy-ish. Yeah. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. And we have good stuff for the trip. A little bit of water. That's pretty good. Some uh, coffee we can carry in case we need a kick. A little bit of a kick. Always good to have. But uh, I might leave that. I'll probably end up leaving that behind. Because I'm, I'm figuring we'll find more. Pretty much anything that you think you need. Other than your basics. Your very basics. You really don't need to carry with you. Because you'll find more of it. Especially on a trip like this. Where there's going to be a lot of really good loot spots. So, yeah, these are all cured, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Get back here. Let's just go through here and see what I don't need. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not too worried. That's plenty of fire. Plus that. Um, let's throw some of this stuff down here in the. Uh... You know what would be cool is if those Christmas lights during the aurora came on. I feel like they powered on the Christmas lights. That would be neat. Okay. So let's get rid of some antibiotics. Catch all those. Uh, ten painkillers. That's really not excessive. Um, we're not going to be traveling up and down a lot of mountains or anything, but still, I think that's pretty reasonable. That all that looks good. Everything here looks fine. So I said that looks good. That looks good. Um, let's see here carry any extra clothes no and everything's in pretty good shape yeah and there are some things I can collect from the uh, oh the hunter's lodge the trapper's lodge I should say but um, and and some rat I think there's rabbit traps out there too but I'm not too worried about those we got a couple arrows the bow um, I might actually just go rifle on this one and just to just to carry less weight because this is about two pounds worth of weight here with all the gear i think i might drop that cloth we can always drop that because we can find cloth anywhere let's do that we don't need it for bandages we have three bandages so we don't need to carry that cloth around or anything like that so let's go ahead and drop off some of this stuff here good 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 fine that's what worth of that here yeah let's 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 throw some of these arrows in here flare yeah I'm not even carrying a flare gun so don't need that don't need the simple tools it's gonna put me over let me let me try making that a decorative item on the deck here let me I'm gonna actually drop that I will keep the uh eh, no, I really don't even need sewing kit I got well, I got two of them just drop these down here so let me see if I can find a nice, pretty place for it. I'd drink almost anything about now. Oh, I'll get you taken care of, Will. You know me. I never let you go thirsty too long. 
Hungry, yes. Thirsty, no. Uh, not really. Okay. So, there we go. Survival bow, let's throw that in there. I will keep the pry bar, because I've learned my lesson there. Okay, we'll do that in here. Getting close to our wait for that one particular drawer. I have another drawer underneath, I think, that is pretty much empty. So, this should pretty much do it. Throw those six in there. And we're just about at 22 pounds, so that works out pretty good for us. And we're down to 58 pounds. we got some room to uh, carry some extra things, if need be. Can I fill this thing up and just get rid of the, the extra lamp oil? I wonder if I can. I wonder if I'll eat up the rest of that. No, nope, it's full. Okay, I really don't need to be carrying that lamp oil around. That's three quarters of a pound, so throw that here. There we go. All right. That's better. I do have a couple pieces of coal. I'll probably leave them in here because there's going to be coal at the... Uh, oh, at the... Um, at the forge there in Fort Long Muskeg. There's going to be plenty of coal there. So let's go ahead and drop that. Don't need to carry that. All right. I don't know why I put it there, but there it is. Okay. So now we're down to... 56 pounds, almost 10 pounds, almost. Very close. It's pretty good. Alright, I say let's get going. Let's get moving. No time like the present. Let's get on out of here. Cured deer hide, cured wolf pelt. Alright, let's go. More cured guts. Let's try to think. Do I need to make anything out of that? Nah, not really. Okay. Anything in here that I might need? Nope. Let's go. It's still a little foggy out here. Alright, let's just be extra careful. Make sure I do have my rifle. You know what? I don't need 27 rounds of ammo. Don't need that much ammo. Let's go drop that off real quick. I might grab an hour of nap just to see if it, if the weather changes for the better or worse. So let me drop this off. I'm going to grab an hour of sleep and see if this fog burns a little bit more. But let's, uh... You know, I'm going to put it up here next to the rifle so it's very visible. I don't want to, I don't want to lose this, obviously. Accidentally leave that behind. That would be horrible. There we go. Okay. Right. Sleep, 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 sleep. For one hour. Simple. I was like, what in the world? Oh, yeah. Simple parka. Yeah, let's do one hour. See where we're at after an hour. There we go. A little bit better rested. Let's get going. Need something to eat. Here, I'll fill it in for you. Ooh, it got worse. Um, yeah, let's let's not take off now. Then, in that case, let's go and what's our fishing skill at anyway? I'm wondering how how we're leveling up on that fishing. Ice fishing at three. Yeah, I wonder what happens when you're at five. What the chance? What the percentage chance is for? The line to break when you're at level five. At probably twenty five percent reduced time is what I'm guessing at level five. But uh, maybe we'll find some more f ice fishing books too. Um, well, let's head on back down to the ice fishing hut. This sort of the way the fog moved in sort of messed every. Oh gosh, it's, it's actually kind of dangerous to travel down. Here. I, I think I'm gonna stay here actually, just to play it safe. There's no need to go down there. We have plenty of things we can eat and drink and have here. I think I'm just going to hang out here for the night. Um, which is that? Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> yeah, that's in pretty, pretty crap shape. And there's an extra whetstone if we need it. Yeah, I'm going to put that upstairs. I don't miss it because I forgot it was there, honestly. Let's go ahead and throw it up here. 
if we can. If we can find a spot for it. Okay, let's see if we can find a nice little spot for it. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. There we go, that works. Okay. Well, what shall we do, people? What shall we do? Hmm. Could probably take some of these guts and make some more line out of them. I think. Might do that. Just to stay busy. Line? Yeah. We can make some of that. How much is a hook? Just a scrap metal, a couple pieces of scrap metal. Put together a few of those, but uh, I don't know if we have any metal laying around here. I'm sure we could bust some up if we had to, but or cut something up, but really don't want to have to do that if I don't need to. Oh well, let's just make some line. Try to make good use of our time, at least a little bit. Gotta say, I'm kind of glad I took that extra hour to see which way the weather was going to go. Let's take a peek outside, see if it's lifted at all. Oh, no, it's still just as bad as it was. Okay. That's a thousand calories. We're in good shape. Okay. We should have four lines now? Yes. Yeah, that's good. In here. Yeah, I got a hook. We could make an extra fishing tackle. I got some line, I got a hook. There it is. I can make that by hand now, huh? Okay. There we go. And you go see if I can find some scrap metal laying around here. I thought there might be something, but could be wrong. Yeah, let's check upstairs. I'm not sure. Check in here. Eh, more line. Plenty of line. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I guess I could probably break up something down here. I'll find something metal. There's gotta be something. Computer. Take a paper, just jerry can. Eh. Yeah, what about any of this stuff? No. Okay. Uh, paint can? No. Alright, well, I guess there's really nothing shockingly. There's nothing around here that's really... Yeah, that's, that's a wood wood table. Shelf. Any of this stuff? No. I could bust up a storm lantern. But then I'd lose the oil, I think. I don't think it puts it in a... Let's test it. Let's see. Let me let me grab this. I want to see what happens if I bust up this low-quality one here. I want to see if it takes the oil that's inside of here and puts it in a in a, a little uh, lamp fuel container. Or, because this one's full. Normally, what I know it would do is if this was, like, empty, it would fill this other one up with it. Uh, with the whatever you whatever's inside the excess would be dumped into here or vice versa because this is actually 48% okay so this one's actually in better shape but that's okay I am going to actually um, uh, you can actually repair those never thought to do that never actually had the need to do that I want to bust this one down just to see what happens with the oil uh, let's do that plus we get scrap metal out of it Let's see. It did. It gave us a couple containers of oil. So that's nice. Okay, let's throw that upstairs too. We have plenty. I mean, we have plenty because we got this jerry can and everything too. But uh, I just wanted to make a hook or, or two and make some more uh, fishing tackle. Honestly, is what I wanted. Uh -oh. That's starting to rain outside of my house right now. Pretty sounds like some pretty heavy drops too. Oh wait, is this? I could have busted these up, but I might need these for cooking when the uh, 
when the update happens. So I don't know if I want to. I don't think I'm going to. I don't, <laughs> these pots and pans, I might actually need those. Could have busted those up, but... Alright. So, I have plenty there. I don't even need to come down here. I didn't need to do that. A couple hooks. Let's make some hooks. Let's make some hooks. So you get one for each scrap metal. That's all you get. I figured you get two hooks for each scrap metal, but apparently not. It's getting too late to travel tonight, so we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to... Uh, wait until tomorrow and hope for some better weather. saying I have more hooks. I didn't think I had that many hooks. Apparently I do. Oh. Okay. Maybe I missed that. Oh, that's nice. I can make a... Quite a few fishing tackle here. Wow, that is the way to do it, man. Fishing is the way to go. And you know, with smallmouth bass being as uh, large as they are in this particular game, I've never seen smallmouth consistently that big. Those are some massive smallmouth bass. But, uh... Mystery Lake almost isn't... It's not that bad either. It, it's competitive to uh, Coastal. So the camp office is kind of like a really good spot. Because then you have that little bunny area up the hill here. Um, just straight out from the from the main door. If you go up that hill. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. There's a lot of rain coming down. Torrential. I don't know. Maybe I'll lose my uh, power here. Maybe this will be a super short episode. Um, Alright, so I got all that stuff. Let's take a peek outside see what the weather looks like. If it's not too bad to travel, I'm going to actually try... Yeah, I can see a little bit better now. I want to try to make it down to the... Uh, I'm going to try to make it on down here to the uh, fishing hut again. I was not planning on making this a fishing episode, but so far that's the way it's going. But that's okay. We'll practice our fishing. We'll get skilled up in it and uh, fatigue ourselves a little bit, and it'll be fine. You know, we'll just. There's nothing wrong with practicing, and uh, it's pretty cheap, pretty economical. So I'm trying to strategize about how I'm going to play interloper. I think I'm going to do a lot of rabbit hunting, get guts from the rabbits, and then do a lot of fishing um, with that. And then. You know, I have a little bit of rabbit meat and uh, so on and so forth. I think that's going to be my early game for Interloper. And that is kind of what I've been using this series as a primer for us to get back into the flow and really prepare for an Interloper series where I try to go just as long as possible with it. Because interloper survival forever is, is sort of a futile thing. Because I think the weather just keeps getting worse and worse. Almost like Frostpunk style. Where it, <laughs> I think. I've never survived that long to confirm it. But I think it just keeps getting worse and worse. Alright, here we go. Got plenty of fish. But we're going to keep practicing. Let's bust it open just a little bit here. Oh, I can use my pry bar? That's interesting. Yeah, let me think here. Do I want to use pry bar? Yeah, because I'm probably not going to use the pry bar that much. So let's just use that. Can't really repair a pry bar, but then again... I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I have to think that one thing. I have to noodle that one out. It might take me a few days. Let's do about, what's what's our tempo? 60? We can always interrupt if we need to. Let's do four hours. The sun setting. I like how you can fish through it's the night, too. There's a massive smallmouth there. White fish. We're getting hungry and thirsty. You know what? Let's pause there. Get a drink real quick. I think we're about two, we're about two hours into the... Drop my fish here. Let's grab a 
Eh, we don't need to eat yet. We'll do that just before we go to bed. But I didn't want to be hungry and thirsty at the same time, taking 3% per hour condition hits. Let's do another... Let's check the temperature. 55. Oh, it's nice in here. Do another three hours worth of fishing. What a great activity. That's a decent size smallmouth for the game. In real life, I'd be flipping out. I think that's bigger than most large mouths I've caught. Okay. Too much stuff to carry. And knowing small mouths, I don't think I'd be doing it with just a, a line and a hook. That would rip my fingers. They'd rip my fingers off. They fight pretty darn good. All right. They're tough little fish, man. Pound for pound. They are some fighters. They're world-class fighters. All right. There we go. Got some more there. Let's see how our fishing skill's doing. If you guys remember what it was earlier. It's, it's a little bit higher. I think it was about here before. So let's take a look at it here. Um, let's see. Okay, let me see here with, uh, with this little abstract graphic in the background. Let's see where whereabouts it is. I wish it would give you like a number. That'd be kind of cool if it had like 20% or something like that. Just written in here. Um, so it's right about where this little little bump is there. The start of this bump. Right here in the background. So let's do another four hours and see where we're at. Open it up again. Right, that didn't take too long. Let's do another four. Let me check my temp. 49. Okay. And then we'll get some sleep after this. Fish for days. Ooh. Too heavy. All right, let's drop these. Three fish, four hours. Okay. We have a lot. We have a lot of fish. And I'm this is just like a leisurely adventure I'm on here. Okay, let's check it out now. See where we're at. So that was four hours worth of fishing. So yeah, it went from here to here. For four hours. So Yeah, okay, we could honestly level it up. Just hanging out here, but uh it looks like it's starting to get a little bit cold. Plus we're a little tired. Oh no no no, let's not drink that. I don't want to drink that. Yeah, we're gonna have improved rest slightly, very very slightly. This is my water spot is what happened. A little too fast with the clickies. Okay, so we got that, we got that, and let's go ahead and eat one of these. Yeah, 600 calories. Chow down. Eat some non-existent rancid beans. <laughs> It's not that I have a high cookie skill, it's that I have iron stomach skill is what it is. I just have, I'm literally a walking, I'm like a mongrel just walking around eating whatever I can get my hands on. All right, let's, um, let's go for four hours here and uh, see how that goes. Well, no, you know, let's do three because I'm afraid the weather's going to drop, drop in on this here. It sounds like it's getting kind of, oh, stopped. Maybe it's pleasant. It's really quiet out. It could be beautiful out. Oh. A little foggy. Still a little foggy. We've got the same thing as yesterday. 119 days, 20 hours. Um, Alright, let's try another two hours here. I'm ready to roll. Just need the weather to cooperate. I know you guys want to get off the X2. Alright, I think it's starting to lift. Fog is looking a little better. Let's do another two. And uh, if it is nice, I'm ready to go, even if I am s not quite fully rested. That's okay. We'll go if, if, if it's nice. Oh, it's actually worse. This time it's actually worse. I can't see the trees now. Oh, this fog is being a major pain. I could eat a horse. How about an entire school of fish? Oh, it looks better. That's just a tease. 
I don't trust it. <laughs> Alright, let's try rest him one more hour. Let's see what happens. Then we'll we'll drink. I think we'll just fill our stomachs with the fish that we got here before we leave anyway. Just just for the sake of sake of it. Okay, it's about the same. I'm ready to move. I don't know why I did that. Open that door back up. I'm ready to move. Mainly out of impatience. I'm gonna need to get some more water. I think I take two of those. Cause I'm about to drink a little bit here. There we go. Now we have what? 0.45 or something like that. 0.47. It's pretty good. Let's pick this up. Take a peek out here. Sure. Got a wolf over there, but. Alright, which one do I want to eat? Yeah, let's just eat that straight away. And is this the only other one? Alright, we'll eat it. I wonder if I can eat this and not get sick without cooking it. Um, I'm not going to try that experiment right now because I'm ready to move. All right, let's get going. They're all coming from over there. Let me double check. Yes, my headphones are are on correctly. I'm not giving you false information. Not a bad little survival spot, honestly. Ah, man, I just don't like the fog. I know. I'm going to go for it. Since I have plenty of ammo. And I'm pretty well armored up. I just, I really don't like the fog. I almost, I, I, th okay. Well, is it clearing up and starting to get snowy, or is it going to be a fog with a blizzard? No, it's starting to clear up. I'm starting to see, well, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm walking towards them. No, it's, it's clearing up. It's clearing up. It's burning off. Okay, there we go. Ah, so much better. See, I'd, I'd rather have a blizzard because... Most times, I don't run into wolves and blizzards. Uh, normally, they disappear. I don't know if that's by design or if that's just anecdotal evidence. Okay, we do have a wolf over here by the track. Yeah, he's over there. Using the radar dishes on the side of my head, I, I determined there's a wolf over there somewhere. At least one. I didn't hear a reply back yet. Could eat this venison real quick. Do that. Yeah, let's eat that up. Aha! That's rancid. We'll come back and cook that up. If we need to. On our return trip. Uh, get a little trick before we head out. Okay. In fog, it seems like wolves are exactly where they always are. Um, you just can't see them until the last, until it's too late, basically. And if you have your headphones on backwards, whew, forget about it. There's a wolf right there. Other side of the tracks just went down behind that defilade. Looks like he's kind of moving a little quicker than normal. I don't know if he's going after a rabbit or something. He might be going for a rabbit. Let's see if I can squeeze back through here. I can. Good. That might have been the one I heard. There he is. Oh, he's kind of, he's backtracking. He's coming back. There's two of them. I think we need to move. Hey, right, we have a wolf down here too. No, is that a wolf? No, I think that was a rock. The snow sort of loaded in. I saw something black down here, but then the snow loaded in. Covered it up. Okay, we're going to be okay here, I think. Did I see something here? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Maybe it's just a train track. Wait, what's that right there? Nope, that's a rock. Or it's a, it's a wolf that has a s snow on top of it. I can't tell. <laughs> it's just a rock. It's right there. What I'm looking at right in the middle of the screen. Uh, just on the other side of the train track.
Alright, this is such a tough little area to navigate through when they're out. Alright, we made it. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Well, my question is, do I actually want to go over to the forge first, or do I want to... I think I want to do this. Or do I want to go all the way down to the end of the line? I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go all the way down to the end of the line, if possible. Feels like the weather might be changing. There's a wolf over here. Up on the very top of the hill. I just saw him back there. He's way off though. There he is. There he is. Okay. 11 o'clock. I'm thinking we go for the... Uh, for the forge. Get ourselves inside. It feels like a blizzard's moving in. Oh yeah. It just got tough to walk. We might end up just up here at the uh, boxcars, actually. If this weather gets bad. I'm going to see. I don't want to fight this. Because this will actually damage our clothing. At least it used to. So let's let's just get inside these boxcars until this weather passes. And then we'll try to bounce off from here. We'll see. There's a bear out there. Wandering. Right there. Right. Yeah, it's not, it's slow going, even going that way because of the wind, the direction of the wind. If it was at my back, I might go for it, but even going that way, which is the primary direction we're going to go, it's still slowing us down. And it just makes for a really long and annoying trek across some pretty narrow paths that we have to take. And I don't want to have to uh, have my mobility, I have to run from a wolf limited by, uh, by the wind. So let's just get inside one of these boxcars. We'll be okay. We got that burn barrel inside that one and plenty of uh, coal and things like that laying around. We got... We got stuff we can burn. If need be. Should be fine, though. There you go. We're sheltered a little bit. Get a little bit of a pickup in speed there. Yeah, we got a couple pieces of wood. I might go grab some more wood real quick. If I can find some to harvest. Shouldn't be too hard. There's... Ah, yeah, we got some here. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, it's still... It's on the verge of being super nasty. Okay, I think it might be getting nasty right now. Uh, yeah, let's use the hacksaw. This one's, eh, that one's quicker. Let's use this one. I don't want to damage my clothes. I would do the hacksaw because, like it's been pointed out in the comments before, hacksaw you can keep going indefinitely with just scrap metal. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Uh, we can tear this one up. Let's go and grab that as well. Yeah, we got plenty of wood to make it through the night. If it comes to that. So we have like a lot and there's more to be had out there so if it gets real bad we'll be all right 
but uh, let me see here. 51 degrees in here. Let's drop drop what we got here. I didn't do a little survival situation there. So we have 16 pieces of wood. That'll definitely make it through the night, no problem. Oh, I'm sorry. 12. I was counting the tinder plugs. Tinder plugs, we don't need those. There's some scrap metal. We'll take that for the forge. I'll just drop these tinder plugs over here. Some desperate rookie survivor's going to be extremely happy. They'll be like, oh, I hit the lotto. Look at that. Okay. Let's see here. 51. What do I want to do? What do I want to do right now? I really want to kill time. I'd rather go do something productive. Let's see if we can't maybe find another piece of wood. It's getting dark out Climb here. up here, see if I can find some on the other shelter. side. It's all right. Okay. I'm not seeing any. Yeah. All right, let's head on back. Might just need to pass time in that case. I wonder if I can get up there on the top. I mean, there might be something good up on the top if I can actually get up there. Let's take a look. Ah, I don't think we can. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Let's throw these over here. We got it all, all in one spot here. Let's move these stinky socks over here. Let's take a look at our clothes. Make sure we didn't take... Oh, look at this. <laughs> Things were getting a little waterlogged. Yeah, it was, it was time to get indoors. Definitely. Yeah, things are fine. Things are good. Okay. Let's, um... Lay that down, get ready to go to sleep there. It's 50 degrees, so it dropped 1 degree since we've been out. I, I think I'm just going to have to pass time. As much as I hate to do that. Okay. Let's do three hours, I guess. Oh. We kind of maybe need to go for Jeremiah's. Shoot. I'm a little bit tired, but I think I can make it there. I'm not a... I'm not great on where it's at. I know it's over there somewhere. Not where I'm looking, but sort of... Over there. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go for Jeremiah's. I think it's up in there. Kind of where the bear was. All right. Let's go see if we can find it. We have to sort of seize this opportunity because the hatch is electrically powered, and we need the Aurora to allow us to get in. Otherwise, we're locked out. So. Over here somewhere. We'll find it. Besides, it's so pretty to go walking around here. It is cold, though. Did my clothes ever warm up? I don't think they did. Not really. Not really. <laughs> That's probably why it's so cold. My uh, clothes were a bit wet from the blizzard. Is that it over there? Try. Is that it? No, or is that just a ref rock reflect? That's just a rock reflect. I was looking at that right there because it kind of looked like it was glowing at the top of it. Okay, let's throw this away here. Not throw it away. Holster it. I want Jeremiah's hatch to have, like, the vortex sound from, from like, uh, the hatch that they have in the, uh, Dead by Daylight. 
<laughs> sort of has that black hole vortex sound sort of thing going on. Yeah, it's up here somewhere. We'll find it. We'll find it. Might be back there. I don't think it's this far uh, this way. I think it's more that way. But I don't want to miss it completely. There's something that that rabbit over there took off running for some reason. Because there's a wolf over there. That's why. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Is, that, is this a cave? It is a cave. I hope it's not a cave with a bear inside of it. Okay. It is warmer in here. And there is some coal. I'm going to grab the coal. Because that is great in case we do need to uh, get a fire... Uh, really hot. I think there's going to be a rabbit that's about to get eaten by that wolf. Yeah, I think he just ate that rabbit. There's a couple wolves patrolling over there. We're going to kind of give them a little bit of space. And then we'll go up and check out that, that area out over there. Maybe I need to go this way a little more. Let me double check. And they're howling. Excessive celebration. Unsportsmanlike conduct. I heard some crows over here too. No, I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think it's over here. I think it's further this way. The trick is I need to get in and out of there before the, the aurora goes away. Otherwise, we're stuck down there for a couple days. Since we can't light coal straight away, we do need to have at least 30 minutes worth of sticks ready to go. Now, if you remember, I dropped all my wood inside the uh, boxcar. So, if we get into an emergency situation, we're going to need that. And we're doing all right. We're not we're not getting that cold that fast. There's like a uh, a radio tower over here too, somewhere. I'm looking for. Pointer trees. That one's pointing me back towards the boxcars and the tracks, for the most part. All right, so I think it's back here near the uh, near the uh, antenna, and I just found it. I think, yeah, that's it right there. Okay, so let's head back here. See if we can find it. Before the aurora disappears. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Alright, he's, he's a green. He's a green glowing doggy. I can lose them here. I don't know if I can get around this way. I hope I can. Doesn't look very promising, does it? One of the dogs. He's running away for some reason. Okay, shoot. I can't get up there. We're going to have to run back. I think he got scared away for some reason. I'm going to put this away for now. Oh, there he is. He's down there. Okay, here he comes. I'm going to drop him. Alright. And then I'm going to have to plow through. Oh, so much for that. There we go. Just, just uh, major bruising. Did take a chunk out of me, though. 55% health. Let's move. 
get in there so we can recover. Okay, good. Let's run through. Oh, things just got exciting. Oh, man. I got trapped back there. There's another dog over there. I waited too long to shoot. That was my problem there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Can I get up this way? You're kidding me. Oh, my gosh. I can even hear the electricity from here. Holster that. Alright, I know I can get up this way. I can use the creek if I have to. I'm not sure if I can get up this way, though. We'll give it a shot. The dog sounds like a straight back there. Hopefully he's not standing right on top of the... Oh. Yeah. Try to find a better spot here. Ice. That's nice and flat. What I'm looking for is a nice flat spot so I can take a shot. Am I breathing under control? Really don't want to tussle with another one. Okay, that worked out good. We're going to leave him there in case we need to come back and get food from him. Another, another one coming at me? Really? After the gunshot? Alright. Okay. I probably need to just take him out. Ooh, that sounded weird. They're kind of fearless. Now, I do only have 10 rounds. But that's alright. Okay. And that is why I brought some pain meds. Now, I normally would just tough it out until I found my sleeping spot, but... Giving what's going on around me right now, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can. I think it's back. I think it's either back there or back there. Let's check. I think it's back here. Just a hunch. Now there's a pretty steep hill here, so I don't think the dogs or the wolves can get up here. I think it's back here. I'm almost certain. This looks really familiar. Oh, you know what? Maybe in survival mode they don't have it. That could be too, right? I thought it was back here. Okay, let's keep checking. Oh, this would be sad if I came all the way out here and didn't have anything to show for it. Now, I do believe that there is a cave over here. An interior cave that I can use to rest and recover and if, if worse comes to worst. There might not be a Jeremiah's hatch back here. If that's the case, that would be sad. A waste of a couple of rounds of ammo right there. I'm gonna need to rest soon. It's not there, is it? Yeah. 
I think I'm. I, th I don't think it exists in, in the sandbox. Interesting. Okay, we'll come back. Man, I don't want to miss it and miss the opportunity to get into it, but uh, I don't think it's back here. This is where it should be. I could eat anything. Let's just double check, make sure I don't have any bleeding. I didn't think I saw. I didn't think I s it popped up, but just want to make sure. Well, we're going to sleep good, that's for sure, when we finally do go to sleep. Alright, well. There's nowhere else really to check. We've already been back here. It's definitely not back here. Unless it's up here, I guess. I don't know. Double check. I'll come back through here. So cold. Okay, now we're starting to take on some extra hurt. I want to need to. Uh... Get somewhere safe. Oh, we got something here. What's this here? Oh, that's where I was at before. What have we here? Did I drop that? I don't know. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Huh. Well, that was interesting. Let me go ahead and eat that so I'm not stinky and I can, uh, I'll be getting some sleep here soon anyway. Okay, let's head back. I don't want to go down that hill because that will probably, uh, put me down there permanently. Alright, let's get inside. I think what we do here is we just head straight across and get into the Well, that's disappointing. I could really use it, too. Pretty hard to miss. It's got a big red light on it. But let's head on down to the uh, waterfall. And then uh, there should be a cave right around there we can get into. I think that's it back there. Like, I should have probably fled into that is what I probably should have done, but I wasn't thinking clearly. I was too busy thinking about how to get the Jeremiah's hideout. So... We got some herbal tea. We're going to drink that, which is kind of actually really, really helpful to have. I think we were carrying some anyway, but this would be a full cup of it because I accidentally drank a little bit of it before. So we'll be able to uh, recover almost. Well, we should be able to recover all the way to 100% health by, uh, by the time we get done resting here for about 10 hours. And uh, I'm pretty sure... Hard to see back here. Okay, somewhere back here, I think. It's getting dark back here. I have to bust out my old lantern. Let's see if I can find it. Really hard to see at night. Uh, let's let's get some rest here. So, I don't know what I did there. Let's get some rest here, and uh, see if we can't find it when daylight hits here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest up here somewhere, out of the way, if I can. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. I probably will actually have to lay down here. So let's do that. Let's uh, eat. Take that energy bar, or that granola bar, and then maybe that energy bar. We already got some food on board. 
probably overkill. It was a little bit of overkill. It's okay. We'll drink. And we'll go ahead and sleep for an hour or so. Whatever the temperature is here, we'll, we'll see. 26. Our bedroll should do it for us. And we're just looking for daylight. Well, let's just do that. Let's just rest for an hour. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, nice. Heal the, the hypothermia risk. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this episode here. We're looking for the cave that should be back here. What it does is it takes you back to that ledged up area where it kind of takes you to Milton. Um, that transition zone to, to Milton. So, I'm going to uh, rest here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching.